Look at these beautiful noni fruit I brought home from the beach the other day. I have discovered that they are actually pretty good with salt. I've been eating one every day. Noni fruit with salt, that's the way to do it. Don't try them without salt. Just don't. Welcome back. Today, I am in search of Madness Bean, which is Yukuna prurians. There's a variety of it that does not have stinging hairs. And I used to grow that, but I haven't been able to find any here. And I found out that there are the stinging ones growing somewhere down the road here, and I am gonna hunt them down. The reason you might want velvet beans is because they boost testosterone, so they're good when you're working out. And I've been working out. I mean, as you can probably tell from my videos, I work out a lot. And uh, the other thing is, is that they make you feel good. They have dopamine precursors in them, and there's a lot of medical uses for velvet beans. And I was told by a farmer it's down by the burned car on the road, so let's go look. There's the burned car. Over here, there's some bean vines. I see their bean vines down there too. These are them. Now they have really bad stinging hairs. They're called cowitch sometimes. And of course, madness bean. And I see back here, there are some clusters of them hanging. I wanna get those and put them in a bag. I brought some gloves with me, but you can't touch the vines either, I think. Everything will sting you. So if I start screaming in the middle of this video, it's because I made a mistake. Look at the beautiful blooms on these. It does cool. These things shed hairs like crazy. They're actually really nasty. Oh, it fell off. So we have some here. There we go. I'm going to have to be careful with these gloves now. Can you see the little fluffs of dust coming off them? It's already itching my arm a little bit just from the dust coming over. I stuck them here in this bag. See all the dust on my glove? That's the, that's the madness creator there. Not exactly sure how to get the little uh, fluffy, terrifying spines off of these things. I'll have to figure that out. I'm going to take these home and boil them. And then eat them. Oral. Well, I don't actually have any enemies that I know of. There's a few commenters I might mail these to. Vegans. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Catch me on the web at thesurvivalgardener.com. I really miss my sting-free velvet beans. Gotta get some of those. Until next time, may your thumbs always be green.